So if SHGF happens, however well you prepared, however well you think you can cope solo in the woods, at some point, I think, personally, and again, that's only my opinion, but we are going to have to form some communities because there are skills and things that take time that people aren't going to be able to do everything. And one of those is making and preparing fabric. Um, so to start off with, I mean, my grandma was a dressmaker um, and part of the make do and mend generation so I mean things like darning that is a skill that I think that all preppers should have and I am so impressed whenever I see people on prepper groups that are doing darning and fixing their own clothing I'm like yes awesome so I mean that's what I mean this is this is the blanket that my puppy had when well he's not even a puppy anymore he's still tiny but eight years it's been eaten and chewed so much still perfect I know a lot of people would just have thrown that out and got a new one the same for like socks, clothing, um, but that kind of raised a question in my mind, if SHGF happens, what are we going to do about clothing? And then I was sorting through some of my old Viking Green Actment kit the other day, and I found some what I made years ago, so this is a, uh, a drop spindle. Um, that I've made. They're really, really easy to make. Um, you just need to have a bit of dowel, cut a knot in the top so that when you wrap your wool around that it goes down. Um, I can do a proper video if you want, ask like, in the comments and I can do a video on drop spinning if anyone's interested. But this is just basically, I mean, making my own thread so that I can sew. Um, so this is wool that I got, to, you can see the fluffy end. I got this, um, this was from a sheep from a bit of barbed wire that I got off. And um, so the finished product at the end of it, this is a slightly thicker one I went for, but this is a ball of wool that I made myself that I got from some sheep wool that I found on a fence and got loads, loads, loads collected. Um, I've got a few of the different colours here. Um, obviously you can dye these yourself but I was really excited to uh, to find this in my old in on my old Viking grey enactment kit and it really really does emphasize the the importance of looking to our historical roots for all the skills that we've lost in modern society I mean we're so used to just if you need a new pair of clothing or you need some you need something you just buy it you just go out somebody like else makes it if we do end up in a SHTF situation, then we are going to be on our own and we will be responsible. So learning these skills is so important. And yeah, just wanted to show you my drop spindles and the wool that I made. I'm, I'm, yeah, I've not seen this for, for like for 10 years and yeah, it's, uh, I'm quite quite happy with that. So I've I have definitely had my confidence renewed that if SHTF happens and there are any sheep wandering around, that I will be able to be stylish and warm. Um, maybe not stylish, but warm at least. Um, cool. All right. Have a good day, guys. Take care.